Okay, so 2016 was a breakthrough year for us with the, the oncoming of the new Gear 360 camera uh, that launched commercially. So we've worked with Thomson Reuters, Euronews, as well as the New York Times to really bring very immersive news content from all over the world with these great partners. So we're really excited, it's a good start, uh, but we're really hoping to kind of raise the bar in 2017 with more partners, more content, and, and more breaking news in 360. How do you think this is going to get to the consumer? Why do they need, why would they need a 360? Why would the consumer need it themselves? Well, we feel that there are a lot of moments that 360 could really help uh, bring an experience to life that a, a regular 2D image or video can't do. So with platforms now like Facebook and YouTube and, and Twitter that support 360 formats, we think right now the timing is perfect for people to take this immersive imagery and, and be able to have the independence to look at it whichever way that they want. Great. And I don't know if you can give us an insight about the future. Where is the future okay. going? Okay. So live VR is already happening. Uh, so we feel that this is a great way to kind of teleport the consumer to any destination in the world so they could witness things live in person as if they were really there. So we think this is a very popular medium and technology and we're really excited to see how content creators will use this new technology and bring it to the eyes and homes of many people. Here at MWC we announced actually uh, this new motion controller for our Gear VR. So we're really excited about this as well because I think this will really change the way how people can apply VR and, and it'll come up with many other app applicative use cases. So we're excited to see how developers will take on this new technology to enhance the VR experience for our consumers. So a few days ago here at MWC, we announced this new motion controller for Gear VR. And the reason why this is very important is that we think that A, this will really help the navigation experience uh, for the VR users. So typically they've been using a touchpad on the that's located on the device. But now with the Gear VR motion controller, people could be, it's a lot more intuitive, people could use it like a little, like a electronic wand, if you will. Um, so we think it'll really help the ease of use and navigation, but also uh, applications for, for gaming, for instance. So you could actually be a lot more interactive. Uh, it'll detect the motions of your body and, and you could be, a, it's a much more immersive experience, visually as well as physically.